first recording. Okay, so we're gonna go over Valley and all that he does and his awesomeness. I say he, cause I mean, look at him. It's it's totally he. This is his card set. He's more animal oriented. Whew. This is Zoo Tropical. This is also animal oriented, and this is Animal Village, which is animal oriented. Uh, we're doing quest mode with Valley. Well, what this means is, is all of the upgrades that I get in the skill tree, uh, ergo, uh, animals have an extra 20, 70 power, or whenever I summon, 6% summon a sheep, whenever I play an animal, like all these things actually are affected in the quest mode itself, um, including buildings, adventure, all this stuff. Uh, the biggest thing you're gonna notice is this one, no, this one, no. stats is my HP starts off at 29.45 just in the beginning uh, for quest mode what I do is I'm gonna hit next is uh, I go into a fight all the all of them have muscles they have double the HP which is super cool that's one of the questing mode things um, and then we're gonna throw down a crossbow and this is another questing mode thing, I get a turbo engine. And another questing mode thing, I get an electrical discharge. Like, questing mode just keeps on giving. So we're gonna shadow strike him. I'm gonna take 55 damage when he attacks. So I kinda want him dead, but I'm not gonna be able to, so we're just gonna put him out back down. Uh, assault ponies on this guy. I'll pack it here, and then we'll electrical discharge whoever it hits, I guess. There's a fly that's annoying me. Sorry, I need a bit of a snack or whiskey. We're gonna raise our weapon. And throw that down. And that's it. These battles are gonna go very quickly. Legendary sword, oh my god. Um, they're gonna go super quickly, so we're just gonna keep uh, pushing on. We're gonna take on the dragons. Probably should've went for the shot to get the two elites, as opposed to just this one. Which okay. Oh, we're gonna put that down first. So that is when you put the taunt thing down is the attack goes immediately to the taunt. So you'll notice when I put this alpaca down, it now goes to the alpaca. Mm -hmm. I actually want to go to that alpaca instead. I'm gonna shadow strike that guy. Beautiful. So this is the elite version of uh, what was going down in Chinatown. Um, the treant fight we had. Um, so, oh wow, that was a lot. We're gonna electrical discharge this guy, I think. Or whoever they want to hit, I guess. And I can just have that guy dead, but I can also wait just a little bit of time and shadow strike him instead. I want him to hit the alpaca instead and put the assault ponies down. I should be waiting more time before throwing stuff down. I'd, I'd take a lot less damage if I did that. I'm just being a bit lazy. I don't do anything. You see how fast everything was firing there? That's those turbos, man. That actually worked. Boy, this world is amazing. Penguin is more amazing. Penguin is so much fun. Um, we don't have enough money for a shop. Uh, but we're going to go through it anyway. Mm -hmm. Armored Elephants is really, really good. You saw uh, what it does is it attaches a sword to all the animals that are on the field currently. Elephant's more important than Mega Morph. Can I get that? No. Okay, so we're just gonna purchase that. We're gonna go to card services and sell a card. So we're gonna sell back one of the armored elephants, legendary swords. That's not as important as the armored elephant. And that gives us enough to grab Mega Morph. We're gonna move on. Cloud Beast, oh no. It's just one, so it's fine. 
He uh, increased attack times by one every turn is what Tempest is going to do. It's actually fairly annoying, um, to be totally honest. So we throw down the penguins, and that allows us to throw down the armored elephant. I'm going to throw that down there. Yes, turbo engine. Yes. Give me the stuff. So then we're going to wait just a little bit of time here. Um, oh, I think that kills it. Yeah. Sly bunny. Gotta love the sly bunnies. Uh, so now we're gonna click until we find. I'm gonna play an animal every turn. Doesn't matter. Uh, lions could be good. So we'll grab that. So what that does is during elite and boss fights, you get two lions at the beginning. So we're gonna take on these dragons. Go up to 1400 HP. Doesn't really matter. Bolt from the blue gives me int, which I super duper like. I'm gonna throw this down here. Oh, 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 oh. Now these count as buildings, these little towers here. Uh, I want that to hit you. Want an alpaca to take the hit. That, that right there, that's a mouse. That's not a polar bear, or not a polar bear. It's not a, uh, what the hell is that called? It's not a, um, it's not a panda. It's totally a flipping mouse, and that's just crazy. Um, so I'm going to Siege Elephant here, I'm going to Slide Bunny, nowhere, we're just going to Mega Morph right there. Make all these dudes huge. Okay, um, Hover Strike won't really do me much, but I can Shadow Strike him, I guess. Probably should have played the Sword thing, but I was, I was being pretty cautious. So you can see this chick here. Is phantom. Um, so we're gonna slide bunny as well. And then instead of him taking that hit, I want you to take that hit. Siege elephant. Get some swords out there. Some more swords. Okay, so here probably four leaf clover is pretty nice. I'll explain what that does when I get to the, the upgrades. We're gonna take three rest sites here. Hopefully they're all good rest sites too. Like seriously, it's pretty annoying. No, oh, just on all your animals. Holy shit. Um, that would be super beneficial. But we're gonna do Mega Morph Plus, so I can continuously use it because this one's really nice. Negative. Fuck you, strange bird. Thousand oh my god. Alright, it's on now guys. It's done. We just need to upgrade the thousand blossoms to go from twenty two to eighty eight damage. <laughs> uh thousand blossoms, uh so you know, is an amazing card. It deals eighty eight damage for each sword you've attached this combat. It's kind of the card you go for when you're building an animal build. Uh with Valley. Because Valley attaches a lot of swords. So we're into the blue one. We're gonna already put swords out. We're gonna put a few penguins down. Now the penguins are important because uh, what they do is they. Uh, you can see I already have 18 swords attached. Now these exhaust, so you kind of don't want to use them right now. So we're gonna use shadow strike instead. Um, and then we're gonna throw down the sly bunny. Do that. Hopefully that becomes fortunate. We're gonna use the elephant to put all the swords out. Like this and the penguins. Three chicks for the swords. Oh, should have put that down first, my bad. Um it doesn't necessarily matter anymore. Um, this battle's basically done. So what's gonna happen is is we're gonna keep throwing down dudes and gonna keep armor elephanting them because uh, they do pretty crazy stuff and you can see their HP is just dropping from the buildings because buildings are just broken as fuck in this game armored elephant boat ton of swords man let me try and see if I can't get to uh, if 
I can get the thousand swords. There we go. Look at this. 119 times. 119. Which is death to everything. Uh, so this is basically already won for us. We use spur. Uh, but not really. I don't really want to do that. I don't want to do a selected area. Uh, golden nests, though, uh, is super useful because it constantly puts stuff out onto the field. Opening is pretty good. I have a lot of overloaded cards. Maybe not overloaded. It's got apple pain. That's got overload. I thought this would have had overload on it. Hmm. Color me shocked. As it turns out, I don't have a lot of overload. I have two cards with overload, so that's not really useful for me. Um, the extra draw is super useful, and the extra continue is pretty nice. Uh, these decks are not used in the arena, so like I couldn't take this deck to the arena. Uh, we will go this route because it's going to be great. We're going to hit Elite, Fire, Elite, and then the chest is going to be perfect. Just perfect. Nothing fancy off of that. I don't have any amulets out right now. Do a Sly Bunny. Sly Bunny. Alpaca. Let's Megamorph them all. That was unfortunate right there. You have to use the cards. And I sucks a lot. These guys become obnoxious, but currently they're just, uh, they're okay. Uh, summon chicks, an alpaca, armored elephant to give swords to everybody. See, now the swords are starting to pile up. Penguin. Oh my god. Penguin, sly bunny. Oh, I should put that down first. Siege Elephant. Um, I think I'll go with the second Golden Nest right there. Turbo Engine. That guy? Alright, it just does it to whoever. For flipping once. I'm gonna play the Assault Pony. Golden Clover. Nothing. It's fortunate, so hopefully it comes back. Ah, look at that. Good, 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 good. And then throw that out again. And we're gonna do more penguins. More swords. That's all we're looking for is using swords. Make them off everybody. Uh, see, it was 170 attached swords. 176, 177. Okay, that number just gets crazy. Look how big that alpaca is. He's like, cha. Okay. Death. Crushing sweep just in case. Alright. Monstrous is fun. <laughs> I believe I get two lines. Yep. Alright. I uh, don't need alpaca. Would love for that to be fortunate though. Uh, so we're going to cast that. Another alpaca way over there. Good, good, good. Sly bunny. Throw that down. Nothing. Okay. Penguins. Did not get the penguins back. That's unfortunate. Okay, so put Legendary Sword up there. And turbo Engine, Turbo Engine. A Sly Bunny to grab one of his dudes. And Apple Aim is gonna take out my sword. No! Golden Nest back there. We got 10 swords equipped. I don't even get much more going here. swords on the field, but I got that, good. So we're going to do the, that, the sly, some chicks, and then the siege elephant right there. Beautiful. I actually took out my nest, but jerks. Uh, siege elephant, megamorph, 140, that's good. Super good deck. 
super chicken horse and it's upgraded. Take it. Super chicken horse is insanely good. All right, regular rest site. Now we're talking. So we're going to come down here. Uh, I think we're going to start upgrading our armored elephants. Because then it's two swords per go. Deadly strong. So these guys are kind of annoying, um, but it's not unnecessarily annoying. Like we should be able to do this fairly easily. Yeah, I'll pack it later. So each one of these little circles, I see they're summoning dogs in each of those. Look at those dogs. Yeah. Some of that, and I want the penguins all the way back here them to take their time running up. If I get a siege elephant or something like that, it would be really nice. Siege elephant, look at that. Uh. No more penguins, it's okay. Two swords on everybody. Alright, so next time I get... Oh my gosh, more swords. Don't really need that, so we'll just increase their attack speed for reasons. Okay, is that it? Oops, should have done that first. Penguin is... Oh my god, where is it? Uh, one or two attackers. Summons. Megamorph. Yeah, see? Animals. Just fun. Just a fun go. Um, this deck would actually be far better if I didn't have this thing right here, the triple arrow, but it's the daily... Uh, for this thing, so it's it's fine. Agile chick is amazing. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh God, no. Yes, beautiful. That's a good one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if there's anything that like super duper needs upgrading. Maybe the armored elephant. A thousand blossoms go from 22 to 88. Maybe that would be a good one too. But that's more about um, it's more about the number of swords attached. You don't really need that really high, but the last boss will probably need that high. So I mean, I guess going to this rest site and then that as opposed to the store. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're going to totally throw on a sword here, and some penguins, super chicken horse, we're already up to 21 swords, it's really nice, and we'll throw that down, a nest here, and that ends that turn. I should again technically be waiting just a little bit longer, uh, agile chick summons the chickens, and then draws you a card, that's why it's so good, by the way. two apples. I don't know if the apples affect the attacking of the giraffes there, to be honest. Not apples. That's apple pain. Comes with the turret whore. Uh, penguins. And the siege elephants. The chicks. And the siege elephants. That's pretty much it. Don't think I'm gonna get to use the cut like I want to, but it's okay. Yeah, 
I didn't even draw it, but it's just too many cards in this damn deck. <laughs> and I'm drawing them all like in the beginning, which is terrible. Death Race is amazing. We'll take that. Alright, we gotta upgrade our second Siege. Or Armored Elephant, my bad. Question mark. Let's take a, take a common. It's fine. I don't care. Uh, last but not least, we're going to upgrade one of our Thousand Blossoms. Because that means when... Oh, man, I'm only on Act 2. Jeez. I thought I was going way faster than this. <laughs> Alright, so Gallop is going to be amazing. Lots of things just got sent in there. Self assertive Apaka. Some stuff from the blue. Good stuff. Oh my gosh, I have a sword out the whole time. I'm here for you is pretty awesome. Uh, Harvest sounds really good. Take that. Oh my god, another gallop. Jeez Louise. That's so nice. This is up to nine already. Spectacular. Uh, we'll throw that here. Siege Elephant. So that puts that up to 86. 86 times 28 is disgustingly amazing. Discard 72 times 5. So kind of super chickens. It's about as high as we can get it. Harvest. Electrical Discharge. Whew. And then we'll exhaust our first one. On the first turn, we were able to get 93 swords attached, which is pretty insane. Oh my gosh. I think this has the most area. Now the coolest thing about swords is when they become detached, they deal 10 damage to the nearest enemy leader. That is just bonkers. Thousand Blossoms, man. The card is ridiculous. Uh, so. <sighs> Excuse me. Yes, yeah, so this is an animal build. Uh, what was what we're doing right now? Nope. Nope. Yes. That may not have been the smartest move. It's okay. Um, in the first half, what do we have? That's the question. Um, I don't know if we have anything that gains int, now that I think about it. I do not. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, I may have just screwed myself by picking that up. Now I have 9 is 19. So, oh, that is pretty bad. Alright, first let's see if we can't get that. There we go. Beautiful. Another agile chick. Agile chick. Lucky, so that's fortunate. So it does three damage now for each sword. Oh, that is that is not good. A polar bear. Absorb an elephant. And death race is pretty good. Another chicken hatchery there. Wonder candy I don't really really want. Got a turbo engine. Got a turbo engine. Man, that sucks. Alright, well into the elephant. There's no way I can use that in a different way. Um and then let's make all of these llamas so I get more stuff off of that. Forty seven times a bajillion. And we're gonna attach two swords to everybody. It's now to 142. It's a mega morph, everyone. <coughs> 70, so that's. He'll be almost dead after this, actually. He'll be at 7,000 damage. Yeah. 
Oh, straight death. Suck it. <laughs> First turn KO. That's what I'm talking about. Heartless Strike is a 1,098 damage. Just, that's it. That's what it does. I can certainly rest that away here, but I kind of want to hit. I don't want to lead. I can rest, chop that. Thing. Yeah, so no, that's fine. That's three really good cards right there. Oh, thank God for all those blue shoes. Okay, so we we'll go to the shop. Zero seven fifty one looks pretty good. We are totally going to sell a card. We have way too many of way too many things. What do we want to sell? I think we want to sell a nest. That's what we want to do. Um, yes, please. To one building, sure. Uh, I'd like to start off with a legendary sword, please. Thank you. I got to upgrade that legendary sword to make it decent. Then we're going to reroll. Oh, there was no sale here. I don't know why I rerolled. Did not know that happened. That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't add anything to my deck. I've already. I'm pretty heavy, card wise. Oh, you piece of shit. So these guys, uh, all cards turn to their normal values. So there's no uh, awesomeness. Oh my god, a mouse cage is great. Chicken nest is also pretty good. Throw a few of this stuff everywhere. Dual wield not yet. I put the sword down, okay. So we're gonna put crossbow there. It's great. Throw that to get out of my hand, get out of my hand. Put that on. The four leaf clover, that is really good. And the legendary sword. Watch your back seems like it's gonna be really, really good. So we'll put a bunny back there? Yeah, okay. Now I should be doing damage to it when it comes out, which is pretty cool. It's 47 times 9, it's not bad. Uh, we'll summon dogs back here too. Penguins back here. Everything will just be summoned behind it now. Add magic. Clapping. Oh. Penguin. Didn't even know that penguin was going to be there. Do wield all of them. Elephant behind him. Electrical discharge. Is that four times four? Hmm. I get a bunch more swords that way, but I could also just 47 times nine. I think we'll get the bunch more swords. Good stuff. Should have thrown that down first. It's okay. That back there, throw that out there. Basically, just dead. 420 kills him. All right, shit, I didn't hit him. Whatever. Yeah, <coughs> Eno builds ridiculous. That would be funny, but no, I think I think we're gonna skip this. I'm gonna get that damn fly. It's gonna be a thing. All right, let's see here. Oh my god, I don't even have to. Yeah, that's what I want right there. <laughs> All right, so I got a mysterious fruit sounds fun. It's 10 HP. Okay, so I can rest right here. What do I have? Legendary swords. The opening one will take off the exhaust. I don't really want to take off the exhaust because it gives me a weird ass card, which I like. Upgrade the last thousand blossom. Now that my thing is down, I need those to be a little bit better. A little bit's a strong word, but whatever. A suspicious beast. <laughs> just ignore him. I don't want to add any more cards. Like it's already, it's a super thick deck. We gotta try and get it where it needs to be. Um. I can show you the egg fight. I don't really need much else going on there. Okay, so those are his lions he summoned behind me there because he's a jerk. So 
we'll pop the sword down. We'll throw partly strike. Oh my god, look at that. It's 1079, just ridiculous. So we want a golden nest over here. Agile chicks. We're gonna put the penguins on top of the agile chicks. Super chicken horses on top of that. We're gonna best part beast partner, best partner here, 20. 20 dogs, 20 more swords. Agile chick. I didn't see that in there, it's unfortunate. Finish the hounds. Throw an elephant off to the side. I'm gonna harvest dragon. It's a thousand damage. It's crazy. That out there. Ooh. Cuddling rabbits. Also super good. Do assault ponies. And oh, five inch. There we go. Make that a lot better. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. That's awesome. So you see he summons a bunch of lions behind him. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a legendary sword and then we're gonna place those down. He's down. He's just trying to get as many swords as we can at this current point. Hoping he gets some stuff done. Okay, so now we have 169 already. Which is super nice. Siege Elephant's going to increase that by a shit ton. 360. 360, let's just go. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, it's still going. did the thing. Pretty thrilled about it as it turns out. Oh my god, Mega Morph. Yes. Siege Armored Elephants. Let's go! Agile Chick. Agile Chick. Oh, here it is. And this finishes the battle off. <laughs> oh man. 700 and some odds. You see that nonsense? Fucking crazy. Alright, next. So, how this works is uh Time to fulfill the wish. So we have to kill this egg here. Now the egg has a very specific property. I don't have time to explain a lot. I'm just gonna be throwing cards out as fast as I can. Um, super necessity for this. Okay, so we have the opening. Um, did we get another one? I did not, that's too fortunate. And that, that's fine. Crushing sweep is good. Ooh, another legendary sword is awesome. Do that. All the chicks. Two of those. Dual wield. Come on now. Agile chicks. Penguins. Uh, siege elephants. Get rid of that. Just because I can. And so, oh, clone didn't do anything. Son of a gun. Pack of horses. And a harvest. Whew. So you see, there's a timer here that I have to go. I have to beat, basically, and that's that's the long and the short of it. I have to beat this timer on killing him, and he gets a boat ton of awesome stuff. So we're going to Siege Elephants, then we're going to Megamorph, and we're going to do another Apple. So we're going to be able to kill it this time, which is cool. Um, it's just going to be a tad annoying, at the very least. So yeah, so we've got 300 and some out of those. Now the timer is still going down while this ability is going off. It's very important to point that out, uh, because it's batshit fucking crazy. But see, after he dies, it continues to deal damage to him, which is actually really, really good for me, anyway. Except for the timer going down. See, I can't do anything with his ability going off. But you see how fast it's taking his life points down, which is really, really nice. Okay, so we're going to do a bunny, heartless strike, that, that, and that. Uh, to slow the game down a bit, you grab a card and you bring it just down to this bottom part here, and it slows it down a shit ton. Which is actually really, really important. Death rays, sly bunny. The turns just keep on coming. So you want to keep throwing stuff out there. Ten seconds left. I have ten seconds, so I've got to get this guy. I'm gonna put the golden nest down. I'll throw down an assault one. Doesn't matter. Oh man, couldn't break the timer. <sighs> yeah, that stuff takes time. Uh, I've only been able to beat the egg with uh, seeing nothing happens now. Um, with buildings. It's the easiest way to do it. 
Uh, that was Valley. That's how good animals work out. There was a bunch of different ones in there. Penguins, summon eight penguins. They're super cute. Um, they have 51 health and do 43 flipping damage. They are super powerful little dudes. Uh, as you can see, the horse does has 213 health and 85 damage. Uh, so I guess 43 is not so big. 26 and 26. Um, alpacas, come on. You can do it. Nope, you can't do it, can you? Sure can. Okay, so this is, uh, doesn't show you the elephant stats. Where's the elephants that I have? Armored elephants, here we go. The elephants are super tanky. They've got 850 HP and 85. You can see that it's 10 times their attack damage is how much HP they have. So you can kind of gear on like what you'll be getting there. Um, yeah, just uh, super awesome stuff. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, so we're going to go back to quest. Uh, the last one I want to do today is going to be sugar, but I'm not going to do that right now. So, okay, so what happened is I went from here up to here. So you go from gate to gate. So from this gate to this gate, I'll have that question mark. Right now I've got the treasure chest. I'm going to click on the treasure chest. I got five skill points. You hit OK, and I got five randomly allocated skill points, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to go back to the skill tree. Uh, we're going to go to animals. This is what I'm working on currently. We're just going to pop this in. That's it. It's on... Level three, I need to get to level four, then five. So it needs six more points, basically. I don't really care for this ability, or this ability, or this ability, or this ability. Like, I'm just, oh my god. Actually, I kind of care about that one. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, too. These two aren't that bad, but these, these don't fucking matter at all. I'm just summoning extra stuff just to summon extra stuff. Um... Yeah, so that was questing mode. Um, you're just running the same thing like a basic dungeon, but with like a bunch of extra stipulations and craziness. Uh, so, for instance, uh, that was a boss run. If you saw it, had like uh, the boss guy there. It's so like here, there's no stipulations over here. It'll just be like a normal basic run with all the craziness that you've got unlocked in your skill tree. Uh, and that'll get you to here. And then when you go from here to here, that'll have more stipulations on the side as to what you have to do and what will be given to you when you play that mode. Uh, last but not least is Season Dungeon. So the dungeon for advanced players. The more levels are clear, the harder it gets. Every season comes new content. Loot obtained in quests uh, mode will be converted to XP. So why that's important is you get loot every time you defeat a, a major boss. Did my season reset this morning? That's interesting. So uh, right now, no criticals will occur, and I get one boss loot. Uh, increase enemy leader HP by 10% every time you pass treasure uh, is basically what it is. So this is the level one dungeon for season uh, season two. Uh, wait, 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 if I do that, can I go to the other ones that I've unlocked? Sure can, they may change. Um, yeah, and then like the further you get, you just have to go constant. You can't stop. Once you stop, this is what you do, you go back to level one. It's pretty freaky. I think you go back to level one, not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, this is the season dungeon. It has extra parameters each time you go up in the level. So dungeon level one, dungeon level two, dungeon level three. I don't even know what that means. Anyway, you just choose your character. You hit next and you go in. Just like, again, it's, it's all basically the same game, but there's so much more to it than that. Uh, then the daily challenge. Uh, the triple arrows in the daily challenge the old scar you start with three wounds and then hey, hey all cards will be played twice that one the if you can play this game in the daily challenge flip it and do it it is so much fun because the cards played twice just means you you win that much faster and it's it's fantastical um but yeah that's the the basics for um over dungeon uh, my next video will be on sugar, and I will do that tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but for now, thank you all for watching. And, uh, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, man, I really hope you enjoy the game. I want to get this game as much notoriety as possible. Uh, Y'all have a great day.